When it comes to pressure calibration, accuracy, speed, and efficiency are crucial to a field technician who has multiple calibrations to complete. In this video, we'll take a look at the differences in these parameters while calibrating a pressure gauge three different ways. Using a standard hand pump and notebook, using an Adatel pump and 673 calibrator, and finally using an Adatel 760 automatic calibrator. Let's take a look at the setup for each. The device under test for the calibrations will be an Adatel 680 digital pressure gauge with a range from 0 to 300 psi, or 20 bar. For the first calibration, we'll connect the hand pump and reference gauge to a manifold with the gauge under test using Adatel quick connectors. For the second calibration, both the 673 calibrator and gauge under test can be connected directly to the pump. And for the third calibration, the gauge under test can be directly connected to the Adatel 760 automatic calibrator, which uses a swappable pressure module on the back of the device as the pressure reference. To prepare for the first calibration, Technician 1 will write down the testing parameters in their notebook, including device serial number, test type, set points, and other important information that will later be manually entered into their laboratory calibration software. Technicians 2 and 3 will enter all of the testing parameters directly into their Adatel devices using the task feature. On the 760, these tasks can be saved and recalled instantly later, so the calibrations only have to be set up once per device. Testing can now begin. To start the test, each technician will zero the gauge. Technician 1 records it in their notebook, while technicians 2 and 3 enter the data directly into their devices. To move to the next set point, technician 1 will begin to generate pressure using the hand pump. Once they have a steady pressure as shown on the reference gauge, they will write down the reading shown on the gauge under test. Technician 2 will use an Adatel pump to generate pressure and enter the reading into the 673, which will record its own reference pressure automatically. Technician 3 will simply press the play button on their 760 and watch it automatically generate pressure to the first set point using its internal pump. Once the reading turns green and beeps to indicate stable pressure, they can enter the value shown on the gauge under test. Each pressure recording will continue in the same manner. If we fast forward the testing procedures, we can see that for a 9 point round trip test, Technician 1 took over 6.5 minutes, while Technicians 2 and 3 only took 4.5 minutes, from setup to finish. Technicians 2 and 3 also have their calibration data ready to view or export immediately, while Technician 1 still has to enter all of their data manually into their lab software. But the increased efficiency doesn't stop there. Since Technician 3 now has this device saved in a task program, they can skip the data entry portion on their next calibration and start right away, saving another 30 seconds of their valuable time. This way, if each technician does 10 tests, the manual calibration times stay constant, while the automatic calibrations become more efficient after the first. Technicians 2 and 3 can also calibrate pressure transmitters, switches, and other powered devices with no extra equipment needed. In the case of a pressure transmitter, just connect the leads to the Adatel calibrators, both of which can provide 24 volt power and utilize heart communication. Since the 760 generates its own pressure, while reading both its own reference module and the pressure transmitter signal, it can complete the calibration completely automatically, with no input needed after starting the test. We hope you enjoyed this demonstration of Adatel products. For more information about our intuitive calibration solutions, please visit our website at adatel.com.